Hello, welcome to day seven of my 30 day challenge, Christmas Winter Island. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on this video. Please make sure you check out the previous days of this 30 day challenge so you can see the progress we've made on this Christmas Island. And I hope you'll join me and subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos and you can celebrate the festive season in Animal Crossing and in real life with me here on the channel. We have made quite the progress I think so far we're doing pretty good guys we're doing pretty good it's only day seven we've got our neighborhood over here started as you can see we've been moving houses every day so we got Shevra's house over here now that we moved yesterday and I already have put down the plot for the next house to move which is Vesta's house which is that pesky one over here that's in the way of some terraforming that I need to do. So that one will be moved tomorrow, so we'll be able to terraform finally. Also yesterday, we built Santa's workshop up here, hidden away on a cliff. It came out very cute. I love it. We will decorate more around that once we get that. Vesta's house over there is moved tomorrow, so I'll be able to terraform and do the, the decorating that I want to do around there. So right now, I want to put a staircase right here, which I have already grabbed from Tom Nook. Hopefully it lines up the other staircase on the other tier of the cliff. The house is so close to the staircase, I kind of hate that, but I think that's good. Good enough. I honestly hate how these are uneven like the bottom one is too like Whitney's this house on the left which is Whitney's house is closer to the stairs than this house is and then this because I lined the houses up this one is like that too which is kind of annoying <laughs> it makes me want to move everything again but I'm not going to because we only have mm, 23 days left <laughs> we're just gonna deal with it okay we will have stairs tomorrow yay and that house that's in the way it will be moved tomorrow so that's exciting tomorrow we'll be doing a lot of terraforming i think so today my idea oh no not a balloon anyways what we're doing today is going to be a cozy little build and a little bit of terraforming i think i've already done some but so our houses that were right here have moved which if you have watched my previous videos i've been talking about putting my two shops right here the nooks cranny and the able sisters are gonna both go here i did do some terraforming off camera and i evened this spot out for them to go there nicely and then eventually we will be building a like christmas market park kind of thing around where those shops are in this space here. Today, we are not focusing on that. We're gonna focus on up here in this area where I want to build today a cozy reading nook where you can go and just sit and read your book. There's gonna be like some bookshelves. We're gonna do some terraforming and make it pretty and it's just gonna be a cozy little spot in like the woods with some warm fire to sit and, and relax and read. So first, of course, we have to clean up these flowers. So I am going to work on that real quick. Okay, I think everything's cleaned up. I cleaned up up here too on this part of the cliff because I think we're building up there as well. So now I'm gonna do some terraforming and see if I can make this into something prettier. So I'm gonna go get started on that. Okay, so I did some terraforming. I just did this little waterfall here and connected it to this one, which I already had on my island, like naturally. And then I put some bushes and flowers here in this little area. And yeah, I think that looks pretty cute so far. I'm gonna start decorating a little bit. I think I'm gonna put some path down first actually. So give me one second, I will do that. All right, so I just put down a little bit of pathway. I just wanted to make it look like natural like snow on the ground not like an actual path leading somewhere you know what i mean so i'm gonna attempt to do some decorating right now i think i'll put the big bookshelf here so we got our wooden bookshelf i think i'll actually put a bush here maybe if i bring this cliff out a little bit it won't be as awkward looking that's a little better okay where should our sitting area be we have a little log bench we can put here by the water which is cute the urge to put down a custom design next to it is real so we're gonna <laughs> this little holly design that's super cute actually i'll put one of those down over here too because it seems right and then we definitely need to put some trees down are you serious someone's really trying to talk to me of course it's you 
It would be. I don't. I don't. I don't want that, sir. Anyways, um, trees. Yes, we gotta put some trees down. Phone over here or not? I guess that's okay too. Can I get a tree right here? I might have to get rid of that flower and make it a tree. Good. We have trees. I have to figure out how I want to put the rest of the stuff down because we do have the tiny library. I have two of these actually. We'll put one right there and maybe we'll put another one over here like tucked away and mysterious. That's cute. I wanted to do a street lamp over here somehow as well so they can like see <laughs> since they're reading books. <laughs> seeing is generally helpful. Let me see what it looks like on this side. Let me see if it looks better. <laughs> Not there but like right here. Yeah. All right, I do need more like sitting areas, things to sit on. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make one of these wild log benches. So I did craft the wild log bench, but before I put that somewhere, I did also grab some hedge fence that I'm gonna use right here on the edge here, I think. I'm gonna like combo it with the bushes. All right, there we go. That's cute. I'll put some pet over on the side also. Just a little one. And then we can put our wild dog bench down like right here. There we go. Let's see, we have the stack of books. Obviously you have to use that. I'll put it next to the bench. Put some log stakes over here just for like some little decor. You probably put a flower over here too. We're needing a custom design for sure. Definitely need some snow over here under the tree. We need some snow in here too. Snow, snow. It's starting to look like a cute little spot. Coming together. I have a little garden gnome. I might put him in here somewhere. Maybe he can sit over here with the stakes. There's this exact same one down there. That one's not staying on the bottom there. <laughs> Don't worry, he's gonna be picked up. He was just plopped when I made this yard over here with this house. <laughs> He'll go. Don't worry. I brought this DIY bench just to like use to craft and customize stuff over here so I don't have to run back and forth. However, I kind of like how it looks there so I might leave it. <laughs> kind of works with this build. Anyways, I also have a lantern I want to use. I might just put the lantern on the bench. Like you can still sit on it here. Dang, I should have went to customize that at Harvey's first so it wasn't black. I could have got a red one to match but that's okay. It's gonna be black for now. Pretend it's red. <laughs> Just pretend it's red. Anyways, I need to put a custom design over here. It's looking bare. Snow. And we're gonna put one there too. Maybe here too. All right, I kind of like this as it is at this point. So let's go up here. Not too much up here. I might just extend it a little bit like I'm not gonna do this whole thing but just like this little area that's close by I'm just gonna put something I'm actually gonna grab a tree we'll probably put the tree right here good I'm not gonna use this entire cliff like down here I'm gonna probably use it for like I don't know maybe something else I'm just gonna do like this space to extend as like the little area we're doing right now honestly I have this kids tent item I wanted to use in this like a cute like crawl into the tent and read your book vibe that's cute flower for some reason i don't have the like wooden it just looks like a little like wooden stump but it's like a stool the wooden stool i don't have that diy otherwise i would put some stumps around and i think that would be cute but i don't really know what else to put over here to be honest a moss ball <laughs> Oh, we can put the little book. They're reading in the tent. Oh, that's cute. You know what else I have? I also have the magazine and I customized it. The Grinch is on it. It's the Grinch. I think I'll use that there for sure. All right, you can't walk by here now though, so we'll maybe we'll move it. So we'll put the magazine on this side. Put it like that. So they're like in their tent, laying down, reading it. We'll put some snowflakes also okay so that's just another little little reading spot i also decorated this little tiny spot with just the custom snow and then flowers in the bush i think that's good like just a little spot we could do see if how this looks the ornament garlands behind the tent it definitely should not be blue though okay wait yeah that is cute i'm gonna make it green though all right i made the ornament garland the red one because it's also green and matches 
So we made it a little more Christmassy, our little reading tents. That is pretty cute, kinda love it. Okay, and then this area is looking cute. I think that's a pretty, a pretty good little reading spot. Oh wait, I did have the book stands also. Maybe I should just put the book stands over here. That's what I was gonna add, a little fire. We could put that there around the seating. There we go. That's cute. Then they can warm up. Again, I think this will make more sense when there's more snow on the ground in the game, but you get the idea. And then I also just crafted this little firewood because I feel like it fits in, especially now that there's a fire. There we go. I think this area is pretty cute. Maybe I'll use that bush. I <laughs> like three different colored bushes. I feel like in the winter though, like when the snow comes, the hedges change from this like dead looking color. <laughs> so it'll be okay. I do kind of like that bush there. So, so we're gonna keep it. I think this is really cute. I actually kind of in love with it. I say that on all these builds, but I don't know. This island's super cute and fun to build. We did our tent area up here with the Grinch magazine. <laughs> And little reading nook here. I think it came out perfect and cozy. So hopefully you guys like it too. I could also put down some path today, I suppose, from like here and connect all the houses and clean up a little bit of these trees. We'll do that today too. Let me clean up these trees and I'll start doing this bottom tier neighborhood path to get that out of the way and have it look a little more together over here by the neighborhood. So let me do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the snow path that I've been using on this island and just kind of connect everyone's, everyone's houses and then you have a main path here in the middle going to the bridge. So that's what we're gonna do right now and I'll show you when it's finished. Okay, so I finished the path. So here's kind of what I did. I wanted to make it natural looking so it doesn't look like, you know, uniform and perfect because it's a winter island. I wanted to look like the snow just fell and that's the path that they, that they walked and made. So I connected all the houses and then connected them also with this middle path going to the stairs. Bianca's doing yoga with Lloyd. Okay, so everything is connected. The houses in like a natural looking way. And then I put some trees, just a few trees back. So it looks natural and yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. And I will of course decorate this a whole bunch more in another video. But for today's video, I just wanted to get this path put down. And then we of course also did our tiny little reading nook area over here, which I think came out very cute. Hopefully you thought so too. That was our little build for today and we got our beginning of our neighborhood path done. So that's some good some good progress for day seven. I'm happy with it. Love this little area we built. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you like this little reading nook area in the woods-ish. <laughs> And that is going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you liked day 7. Make sure you hit the like button if you did indeed like it. And make sure you also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of this 30 day challenge series or any of my other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!